Natsuru Seno wakes up to discover one morning that he has transformed into a woman, upon which a stuffed animal tiger, disemboweled tiger, who introduces itself as a messenger, tells him that he has become a camphor, which must do battle with other camphor, since camphor must be female. Natsuru transforms into a female version of himself. The next morning he is attacked by another camphor named Akane Mishima wielding a sidearm. Natsuru protects his friend Kaide Sakura from Akane's attack, before saving Akane from a falling lamppost. Natsuru is approached the following day by a shy girl who reveals herself to be Akane, who is completely different in appearance and personality when in camphor form. Akane tells Natsuru as much as she knows about the camphor, even helping him when he transforms. Apparently, they are allies due to their bracelets being the same color, blue. Hence they become known as Blue Camphor and that their enemies are the Red Camphor, who have red bracelets, accordingly. At the end of the day, Kaide tells Natsuru that she has fallen for his camphor form. The next day, when he goes to Akane for advice, they are attacked by another hidden camphor while in the school library. When Kaide suddenly appears in the wreckage, Akane assumes she is the enemy and shoots her gun at her. Natsuru stops Akane from shooting Kaide and the attacker escapes when the bell for class rings. Natsuru realizes that the enemy also goes to his school and becomes wary of the danger and cautious of the other girls around him. He and Akane are interrogated by Shizuku Sango, the student council president, about what happened in the library. Natsuru promises to let Kaide meet his camphor form the next day, and Akane and their messengers suggest making Kaide hate Natsuru's camphor form, but instead she asks him out. Natsuru discovers Shizuku to be the enemy camphor. Natsuru and Akane have trouble fighting against her, but eventually manage to stop her. Natsuru makes a deal with Shizuku to let her live if she leaves Kaide alone. Noticing rumors about camp for Natsuru being spotted, Shizuku enrolls him into the girls' side of the school. Natsuru begins his first day in the girls' side of the school where he is transferred into Akane's class and is very popular among the girls. Kaide confesses her love to Natsuru, but he is unable to answer due to his bracelet flashing. He gets interviewed by the newspaper club, who write a dubious article about him. Kaide refutes most of the rumors and things go well until Shizuku starts spreading a rumor that female Natsuru is dating the male one. Natsuru escapes to the library and transforms back to his male form, only to have Akane reprimand and trip onto him. When Kaide catches sight of the compromising position, she turns against him and vows to compete to win camp for Natsuru's love. As the cultural festival comes up, Natsuru is shocked to find that Shizuku has entered him into the Miss Seitetsu beauty contest. Natsuru gives Shizuku a shoulder massage in order to be replaced, but after Akane bursts firing her gun, the deal falls apart and Natsuru is still forced to compete. Deciding to go with the karaoke act, he, in camphor form, and Akane go shopping for lingerie, though it gets out of hand when Shizuku decides to help out too. Kaide later joins them at the karaoke bar, where she, Akane and Shizuku compete for the chance to sing a duet with Natsuru. Kaide tries to force an answer to her confession from Natsuru, but he is unable to reply due to nearly transforming again, back to male form. Akane argues with Kaide for trying to confess behind her back, and both of them, as well as Shizuku, decide to enter the beauty contest too, much to the shock and chagrin of Natsuru. The cultural festival is about to begin and the class dress Natsuru and Akane in various costumes for the Miss Seitetsu beauty contest. In the changing room, Kaide interrupts the two of them and once again gets into an argument with Akane. Male Natsuru later meets up with Kaide and gives her some encouragement, although she still considers him a rival. On the day of the beauty contest, Natsuru does not have an act, but then Kaide comes on performing a skit, throwing a bouquet into the audience. The two of them almost kiss, but are interrupted by Akane in her camphor form, who starts shooting at them. Shizuku then appears and knocks everyone else unconscious, winning the contest by default. After the contest, Natsuru awakes in his male form and his first kiss is stolen by Shizuku. Meanwhile, Natsuru's childhood friend, Makoto Kondo, who had caught Sakura's bouquet, finds the messenger, strangled stray dog, inside it. Natsuru is surprised to find his childhood friend Makoto has returned. When Camphor Natsuru heads to school, she is forced to participate in a quasi-made cafe. She is later accompanied by Shizuku, who warns her that a new Camphor will be coming. Kaide later joins them, and Shizuku subtly probes her to see if she has any knowledge concerning the Camphor and the entrails animals that spawn them. 
Kaide asks Natsuru for a kiss, but she declines and settles for a date around the festival instead. As they enter into a haunted house, Natsuru is attacked by a new red camphor, whom Natsuru eventually recognizes as Makoto. Akane later intervenes and the fight is stopped by Shizuku, who asks Natsuru and Akane to reveal their true identities to her. After everyone gets on the same level, Shizuku agrees on a truce, as she wants to find out something. As Natsuru apologizes to Kaide for abandoning her, Kaide asks her to spend the night at her house. Natsuru, unexpectedly accompanied by Akane and Shizuku, arrives at Kaide's house, which has a lot of entrails animals. Kaide starts things off with a game involving two people biting through the ends of a pocky stick. Akane's attempts at avoiding Kaide and Natsuru being paired together gets her stuck with Shizuku. In the second round, Akane pairs with Natsuru, but he breaks the stick before she can reach. After failing to get paired with Natsuru, Kaide ends the game and shows everyone her collection of entrails animals, including a prototype, burnt alive lion. Makoto then appears, bringing with her some curry which Shizuku dumps on Natsuru's face as an excuse for her to take a shower. Natsuru is forced to bathe in his female form since Kaide keeps peeking in. As Natsuru tries to go to sleep, he accidentally transforms back into his male form just as Kaide sneaks into his bed. Before Kaide notices him, Akane appears in her camphor form wanting to convey her feelings to Natsuru. Just then, they are attacked by a white camphor, Rika Ueda, who retreats after Shizuku intervenes. Later on, Shizuku wonders if she's jealous over Natsuru. Shizuku asks male Natsuru to go out on a date with her. While Shizuku is generally insistent that it's a proper date, Natsuru just goes along with it thinking it is a plan to draw out the white camphor. After visiting an aquarium and having a picnic, Shizuku questions Natsuru about why he likes Kaide. Hesitating to ask if he suspects a connection between Kaide and the moderators, she then talks about the camphor battle, remembering a lost ally. Natsuru has a quick nap with a curious dream, only to wake up on Shizuku's lap, curious as to whether she tried anything while he was asleep. At the end of the date, Makoto spots them, and is not too happy about Natsuru going a date with Shizuku, not helped by Shizuku's honest comments. Akane then comes around his house having heard from Makoto and asks him what type of girls, beside Kaide, he would like. When Natsuru casually mentions, someone like Akane, she transforms and gets him to make an oath and go on a date with her. Akane is having a romantic summer date with male Natsuru at the pool. However, Makoto, Shizuku and Kaide show up as well. At the pool, Shizuku sees three white camphors when they walked past Kaide. Shizuku sends female Natsuru to walk alone somewhere and is attacked and surrounded by a group of white camphor, who introduce themselves as Sayaka Nakao, Ryoka Yamakawa and Hitomi Minagawa. Akane and Shizuku rescue Natsuru and to his dismay, Shizuku essentially says Natsuru was used as bait to get the white camphor to reveal themselves, who end up running away rather than fight them on equal terms. Later male Natsuru and the girls are having a fun time in the hotel. Akane and Makoto are in shock that Natsuru went on a date with Shizuku, and Shizuku even goes so far as to kiss Natsuru in front of the others. Kaide then asks male Natsuru to come with her outside the room. Natsuru, captivated by Kaide's sudden action, obliges without a second thought. Outside the room, Kaide manipulates the spellbound Natsuru into obeying her and they go outside to see the fireworks. Natsuru finds himself sitting next to Kaide outside the hotel, who hypnotizes him into making Shizuku his. Kaide then disappears when Natsuru, who can't remember anything after leaving the room, is found and confronted by Akane, Shizuku and Makoto in their respective camphor forms. They return to the hotel where they are greeted by Kaide who doesn't appear to recall seeing the fireworks with Natsuru either. Afterwards, they all go, with Natsuru in female form, to the women's baths, where Natsuru's hypnotism kicks in and he then brings Shizuku back to the room to make a move on her, but he gets knocked out when he lets slip that Kaide told him to do it. It is also revealed in a scene that Kaide appears to be in command of the white camphor. The next day, Kaide whispers something in Shizuku's ear, confirming her suspicions. Shizuku invites Natsuru over to her house to tell her about Kaide, getting Kaide's burnt-to-death lion to spill the beans about the camphor system. She recalls that her close friend Tamiko was killed in a camphor battle and has since sworn vengeance against whoever responsible for the establishment of camphor combat. When Natsuru confronts Kaide about this, 
he once again falls under Kaide's hypnotism. With Natsuru under her control, Kaide and the White Camphor trap and capture Shizuku, Akane and Makoto. When the three of them wake up later chained together, Kaide tries to get Natsuru to finish them herself, but he spots a keychain he previously bought for Shizuku and snaps out of it, declaring that he will not betray his friends despite his love for Kaide. This declaration encourages Shizuku, Akane, and Makoto to fight with renewed resolve, enabling them to break free and allowing them to easily defeat the White Camphor. Kaide tries enticing Natsuru once again, but he transforms back into normal form, putting himself out of the fight and out of Kaide's disposal, as well as forcing Kaide and the White Camphor into retreat. With the battle over, Shizuku, Akane and Makoto turn their attention to Natsuru, initially jumping him for trying to make out with Kaide in front of them before competing against each other to see who can appeal to Natsuru best with their qualities, to the point of kissing him, grabbing his hands and forcing him to touch sensitive areas, and rubbing their breasts onto him. Natsuru wakes up on Christmas Eve morning to find out that he and his messenger, disemboweled tiger, have swapped bodies. Disemboweled tiger decides to head on outside to enjoy this occasion and sees Natsuru's friends Makoto, Shizuku, and Akane on the streets only to notice that they've also been body swapped with their respective messengers, namely strangled stray dog, electrocuted wildcat and black seppuku rabbit, as well. The messengers have fun with their new bodies until they are caught sneaking out on a food bill and are forced to perform in a show. Kaide then encounters them and takes them to an amusement park, where they begin to get aroused and play erotic games with her. Kaide goes to a church to confess the sin of committing indecent acts with multiple girls all at once, but she just ends up being punished by the student council, who also happened to be working there. After saying their goodbyes to Kaide, they ride off on a sleigh, the whole thing being a bizarre Christmas story. Thanks for watching this recap, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to ES Anime if you haven't already. See you on the next one, bye.